Another small town police force has quit, leaving residents there shaken. The police chief and officers in Goodhue, Minnesota, say it came down to pay and work-life balance. What happens now is the question facing this small town and others all across the country. Less people going into policing, making the field very competitive. News Nation's Kelly Beeson looks at the challenges of hiring and keeping police on the job. The entire police department in Goodhue, Minnesota, resigned, catching everyone off guard. Police Chief Josh Smith saying he can't hire anyone at the current salary. Smith, one full-time officer and five part-time officers all resigned last week. But the small town of 1,200 people one hour southeast of Minneapolis is moving forward, not backward. We will have police coverage in the city of Goodyear. This has happened before. We're not the first and we won't be the last. This is not unusual. It does happen. So common, we reported on a string of shrinking or non-existent police forces back in June when the police chief in Minko, Oklahoma, threw his badge at city council members and walked off the job. I'm done. Forces of all sizes nationwide are having a hard time keeping officers on the beat. Number one is that being a police officer is a really hard job. You work nights, you work weekends, you work holidays, and we ask you to be your very best in really hard and stressful situations. That is mixed with broader economic challenges. Total sworn staffing nationwide has dropped nearly 5% over the past three years. But small towns with smaller budgets seem to be hit the hardest, unable to compete with bigger budgets and bigger salaries being thrown at officers. Back in Minnesota, as the mayor said, Goodhue is far from alone. Morris, Minnesota disbanded its police department last year when it was down to only two officers. Also on smaller communities, we've seen greater competitiveness with larger agencies. So oftentimes a larger metro agency can pay more money or a sheriff's officer has more resources to hire more officers than some smaller jurisdictions do. In the end, towns like Goodhue just want residents to feel safe and secure. We want what's best for our community. We need to make sure that we're very competitive, you know, with the pay. They deserve everything that they get. And, you know, nobody's nobody's going to come put their life on the line for a very low rate. Kelly Beeson, News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.